your thoughts on uh, Trey earning uh, first team All-Pac 12 today? Yeah, I mean, clearly deserving. Uh, one of the best players in the country through the non-conference, and uh, it was, his numbers were very consistent and had a great career, and uh, very happy for him. Uh, definitely deserving of the honor. When you look at how to try to get this team's mojo back as you head to the postseason, now how much of that do you think can be mental in terms of the team's attitude before they get to the court? Yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm happy about how we compete and now we're in games and we have a chance to win uh, just about every game we're in. So, uh, you know, that's that's important to have been in a lot of these battles when uh, when you're in postseason and you're playing to win a championship, uh, to have been in a lot of close games. And, you know, I think uh, to have great guard play, great experienced guard play, in postseason is, is very valuable. And uh, you know, our core of guards are as good as anybody's in the country. So those things help tremendously when you're in these tournaments. Uh, the goal, obviously, in Vegas is to win the conference tournament. But it's a secondary goal to make sure you guys leave no doubt with the selection committee that you guys are, are in the tournament. I mean, I, I just think we've done enough this year. And then that's uh, obviously there's going to be debate with teams and, and in, in a committee room. Uh, but I, I feel very comfortable with what we've accomplished uh, in a whole body of work. and. You know the games that we've won, and you know beating two you know, conference champions of major conferences, college basketball, and not only beating them, but beating them on neutral sites and and on their home floor, and and doing it decisively, uh, and almost you know in the case of Xavier, uh, you know where where you're actually just not trying to embarrass them any further in the last uh, two minutes of the game. So, you know I think when you have wins like that, people know that you could beat the very best teams, and I think the NCAA tournament is built on putting teams, the best teams in the event, teams that are capable uh, of beating the very best teams in the country. Do you think the way that selection criteria works now helps you guys in how it's been invented? Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm not even certain exactly what gets prioritized in those, uh, in those meetings. I know that there's a lot of talks about the quads and, uh, and everything, but uh, I, I think that we've, we've done our work on neutral floors, uh, and that's what the NCAA is on. And, uh, but but I, I'm not even that's like on the back burner for me. This the, the, this week is is the main priority, and uh, you know we had a good day of practice today, and we're going to travel to Vegas tonight and just uh, and get ourselves ready to put, start playing the best basketball that we're capable of playing. Do you look at this like a fresh start, a third season? I just see I see guys that that are very enthusiastic. You know, I, I think we had a, a high energy practice today. I think uh, players have been waiting for this. Uh, you know, postseason opportunities to win a championship. We've uh, we've already won a championship in Vegas in the non-conference, so we got a good feeling about going there. And uh, and now everyone, really, all the teams have an opportunity to advance and uh, and win win a title. And and I think uh, you know, our mindset is pretty good right now going into this week. Did you say anything to Trey specifically about uh, the recognition? Well, I mean, I just uh, I, I addressed the whole team and and. Uh, and let the guys know, and uh, you know everyone was excited for Trey, and they, they have so much respect for him and you know what he's done this year, and uh, so it was it was, uh, it was a good vibe being able to tell the guys that. So this year you, you split the season series with Colorado, two very different games. Uh, what kind of challenges are they going to present on Wednesday? Yeah, they uh, they're going to try and rebound, and uh, you know they got good athletes. You know King has been a really good player in the conference, and uh, you know the point guard is uh, one of the best young point guards in the league, so. I starts there with those guys, and uh, but we we didn't uh, attack their zone defense very well, you know, at Colorado, and you know, I'm sure we're going to see a mixture of, of both defenses. So we're going to have to uh, you know play quality offense and you know get back to to being the type of offensive team that we were for a lot of this year. Right. You can make an argument, that, Bobby, that you guys played your best as underdogs earlier this year. Now that you're a ninth seed in the tournament, does that provide any sort of mental edge at all? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I think we're, we're probably one of the best nine seeds in the history of Pac-12, uh, to be honest. Uh, but I, I do, uh, I do think that uh, you know the the schedule. We didn't we didn't run through the schedule the way we needed to, and uh, you know we we we, uh, we could our record you know should be better. We didn't we didn't get the job done there, and that's that's on me. And but I, I do think that uh, that our guys are excited to play. I don't know the, the underdog thing is. Uh, I think teams still will get ready for us because they, they, they respect you know what we've done this year. Were you surprised? I mean, Remy's not a perfect defender, but were you he's very disruptive. Were you surprised he wasn't on the All-Pac-12 defensive team? Though? 
I mean, I, uh, I saw him on the ballot. I, I mean, I couldn't couldn't vote for my own guy, but but certainly, uh, yeah. I mean, what, what he uh, what, what he's done defensively and uh, the steals and and the, the constant ball pressure throughout the game and the energy he plays that end of the floor with. Uh, and I don't want to take anything away from from someone else that's on the team, but I certainly think he's one of one of the better defenders uh, in the Pac-12. Can you tell us who you voted for for Pac-12 Player of the Year? Uh, I, I'd rather just not uh, get involved in that. I mean, I don't think it, it would be a, a shocker to anyone if they saw my ballot to see who I voted for. <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> Are you a big pregame speech type of guy? Uh, I mean, I, I put a lot of thought into messaging as a coach. It's, uh, it's a key part. I mean, what, what are you trying to accomplish each day, not only before games, but before practices, before tournaments like this? You know, I, as a coach, you spend a lot of time making sure what you say is very measured and, and you're trying to get a point across to your team. So that's you know, a big, you know, undervalued part of, of our job is to try and you know, do the best we can to motivate and, and, uh, and get everyone pulling in the right direction. Do you have anything ready for, for Wednesday, or are you not to that point yet? I, I'll, I'm going to talk to the guys tonight when we have our meeting, and it, it's, it's pretty decent. I've had some good ones uh, this year, getting ready for tournaments and big games, but I think uh, hopefully this one is, is, uh, is on that level, and uh, I think it's, it's pretty good, so we'll, we'll see, see what happens. <laughs> what do you draw on to craft those? What's that? What do you draw on to craft those speeches? It's just, I mean, you try and sometimes invent things and create some things, create an edge for your team. Other times it's talking about a goal and what that's going to mean and uh, if you could accomplish it. And, uh, for these type of tournaments, I think it's more about just getting across the message of, you know, what a big time atmosphere it's going to be in the Pac-12. You know, in my opinion, you know, that, that event last year, you know, at T-Mobile was as good a event as, uh, as any I've been a, uh, associated with, just the professionalism and how the tournament was run and conducted and uh, the facility itself and the energy that, that Vegas has. It's just a great environment for, uh, for a tournament. And uh, so I would, I would say you know, everyone should, uh, should go down there and check it out if, uh, if you can. And if you're a basketball fan, it's, it's, it's a, great, a great atmosphere. Arizona will be labeled as the favorite, but it seemed like the conference season was really one week, week to week. Does it feel like this thing is wide open? I mean, it's the way they played, and they have been playing. And uh, you know, their Stanford game I thought was very impressive. Uh, Arizona, I didn't see their Cal game, but uh, yeah, I mean, they're uh, they have a lot of pieces, and uh, you know, they have a great coach, and their players expect to win, and uh, and, and and they have an inside game and a perimeter game, so. They, uh, you know, they, they sure looked the part of a team that, that would be a, a favorite. But I think you mentioned that you know, it's not only our conference, but you know, the nation. Uh, there's a lot of parity in college basketball, and even even the very top teams are, are, are vulnerable in uh, in these type of one, you know, one game elimination scenario. Thank you. Thank you.